in in our country anyway, in the United States where I live, I mean, people will ask you, are you religious? They'll ask you, uh, they'll check you out, see if you're religious, want to talk to you about um, Jesus, you know, if you believe in Jesus and things like that. And uh, so, you know, if you really think about it, we're all brought up with our religion. And in this case, living in the United States, Christianity. And, uh, you, you know, many of us, it's just sort of a tradition. You don't really think about it. Some of us, uh, uh, we, we do start to question it. Maybe something came up that made you really wonder about it. You go into the information, uh, start st critically studying the Bible, and then all of a sudden you realize, oh boy, um, things are not what they appear to be. And it's the superstitious thinking that uh, starts to go. Once you're, you're realizing that uh, you were superstitious, uh, it doesn't really matter whether you're uh, a Christian or you ascribe to any other kind of belief system, a belief system without proof, you're going to be superstitious. If you, if you believe when you walk under a ladder that you're going to have bad luck, you're superstitious, you know. Um, <clears throat> there was a lady I used to know years ago uh, where I roomed during college. Uh, she, uh, if, if uh, a cup uh, fell broke, she had to smash it with a hammer. And that was uh, some custom she had grown up uh, with and that she was superstitious that if you didn't smash it with a hammer, uh, that was bad luck. And, uh, you know, uh, you, you think about things like that and how uh, superstition permeates everybody's life. Even people who don't ascribe to any religion, they might have a little bit of superstition about them. But it's the superstition that you got to think about. You've got to uh, wonder why are you believing something that, uh, or fearing something fearing something, uh, fearing you have to do something, perform some kind of action in order to ensure your safety or to avoid harm, and, you know, or to bring about something good. I mean, uh, that's superstition. And uh, I think with religious people, they, um, they like to enforce their dogma on other people and they want their agenda to be heard in government. They have an agenda, of course they do. A lot of people believe the end of the world is coming and they've been believing that for a very long time, um, you know, due to these belief systems. And then you think, certainly you should question people and say, you know, Let's, let's uh, investigate why you feel that way, and they'll always go back to their book. And they say, oh, it's prophecy. I have it here in this book. Well, who wrote that book? And let's investigate that. And then you'll find a lot of those authors uh, were not the original authors. In fact, the book itself uh, wasn't uh, put together the way you think. Somebody didn't just sit down and divinely you know, scribble all of it out and put it together uh, coherently. Uh, it was put together over a long period of time uh, by different sources. And take away the label. It doesn't matter if a person uh, calls themselves atheist or agnostic or whatever. Uh, uh, a person that's religious um, maybe deems themselves Christian or um, some other faith. Um, if people are making claims, even let's say in politics, if somebody's making claims, certainly uh, you need to investigate that claim. You can't take that person on face value and say, well, they, they seem like a nice person, so that, that must be true, you know. Um, if somebody starts telling you they believe in things that you know for a fact you, you know, are, are, are bizarre, or even if they're things that people, uh, the majority might accept as a truism, but they haven't investigated whether it is, and it, they just accepted that it was true. 
Everybody has a right to investigate such claims, and there's nothing wrong with that. And if the claims cannot be proven, and if they're, they're uh, fantastic claims, then let's face it. I mean, whether you look at it or not, uh, in, a, in a way of uh, it's accepted, it's formal, it's traditional, everybody in, uh, tends to like it. it, it still might be a delusion. They believe the earth was flat. That was delusional. You know, so that's my take on it. All right. You have a good day.